Welcome builders, Andy is Yori here. Welcome back to another 5x5 easy build tutorial on my channel. This time it's a small red terracotta fortified house. I hope you liked it. We have had a great deal of fun uh, designing this. Doesn't it look superb? So this build looks really cool. I love it. Brilliant design. Thank you so much to all the patrons that helped me design this. Um, I'm wondering if I should do this as well. Ah... That's going to be missing from the tutorial. <laughs> Once you finish the tutorial, that's going to be missing. Let me show you quickly around this place. Um, in here, we've got a little basement as well. Pretty cool. You can also come up these uh, the ladder to get out of that trapdoor. Or you can go back into your farm. Obviously, there's some stairs here. You have a route down to the basement there. You can climb up the tower. You can go across that way. And then round here we have another uh, tower. The towers are a little bit useless, but they're kind of just, I would call them decoration. They just look good. And then through here, plenty of room for storage in here. Kind of a normal room in here, wherever you want. Fireplace as well behind us. And then upstairs, we have a little place where you could probably make your bedroom as well. So it's a teeny tiny fortified house. Fits into 17 by 17 space just about, with a few extra bits sticking out. There we go. Let's get this built. So first of all, you want to mark out an area 17 by 17 and make sure that you've made the five by five grid. So there's three blocks between each dot here of red. Then we're gonna use some chiseled stone bricks in these positions. Uh, once that is complete, then we're gonna be adding some towers in this build, little decorative towers. So nine blocks of stone bricks in these positions. Little T-shape there of stone bricks. And then stone brick, stone brick stair, and stone brick. Stone brick, stone brick stair, stone brick stair. <laughs> Did I say that right? Anyway, upside down stone brick stairs here. Do what I do, not what I say, right? <laughs> and that just completes all four sides. A little bit of stone brick there, and then pretty much any block you like. These blocks won't be seen, so if you've got dirt, if you've got some grass, whatever you want, maybe you've got some cobblestone or gravel, just fill that in there. And once that's done, we're gonna be adding on a block of andesite and then an upside down andesite stair and then bring this cobble around the corner just inside the red dots that you marked in earlier on. Now I've chosen a floor for the basement of polished diarrhea, sorry diorite, um, so you could choose whatever you want for your floor. Bring these stone bricks around the corner like that and then add on some fence, I've chosen spruce fence. Once that's complete, we're going to be adding on some more grass in exactly this position. So look carefully as to which blocks I've put this on. And then we're back to stone bricks and stone brick stairs. So the stairs there are going to mark a window there and there. And then around that goes some stone bricks, build it up to another level. I'm going to carve in a little space for a door uh, there and then put in some iron bars in the windows. Bring the stone bricks around the corner and we have a little gap for the door. Now we're going to add our chiseled stone bricks on top and then fill this wall in, just a little nine blocks there to one side, in fact it's 12, and then fill in the tops here, three, three, and three. Apart from at the door, obviously, we're going to be putting an upside down stair just at the door and above the windows, an upside down stone brick stair as well. Now it's time to build more of our tower. So bring it up to this level. The tower should be five blocks high in total by now. Other side of the build, we're going to be adding on three blocks on top of all these chiseled stone bricks, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way, and then more chiseled stone bricks on top. Next, we're gonna go upside down 
stone brick stairs. Now I will move the camera around in a minute so you can see exactly where I'm placing all these, but it's upside down stone brick stairs, pretty much facing in the way and in the middle of the build. So we'll move the camera, you can see exactly where I've put these. Good progress so far. We've forgotten to add up that one right there. And then really you're just joining the dots, completing the five by five grid here with stone bricks going across all these sections. One more to do here. And there we go, we've got our five by five grid. Uh, we're gonna add on more blocks here for another tower, leaving space for a door at the bottom and a trap door on top. Now at the back, we're gonna go blackstone, polished blackstone walls actually, polished blackstone walls with iron bars in between. Same around this side. There we go, super simple. Background to the front here, we're gonna be adding on our staircase. So first of all, we're gonna wrap another layer of cobblestone. And then a layer of andesite, right round to just there, and another layer of andesite. And then place a block of andesite right in the corner. Hopefully I do this. Give me a second to think. <laughs> There we go. That block of andesite in the corner, pretty important because what we can do now is put on some upside down andesite stairs. And this is gonna let a little bit of light into the basement as well through the, the little holes that we make here and placing these upside down. Really, really cute to have that in place. So we need to work on the staircase, kind of the sides of the staircase here. So we're gonna carefully put in um, some more upside down andesite stairs going down, <clears throat> excuse me, one block each time. And then right underneath here, I decided to remove two blocks I put in near the start of the video and just replace these two blocks here with some more cobblestones. That makes us a really nice staircase. I've gone for andesite stairs. You could put whatever stairs you like. Andesite is pretty easy to get, so I'm gonna go for that. Um, now we're gonna make some of the cobblestone and some of the andesite kind of overlap a little bit just to make it look a little bit more random. That's a really nice touch. Okay, background to the kind of the farm or garden. You need to really aim carefully as to where these blocks go, but I've used some uh, uh, chiseled stone bricks and then some mossy cobblestone and then I'm going for upper slabs of oak. And these upper slabus oakus go pretty much everywhere there's a gap. Next, we're gonna bring out spruce to make a little balcony at the back. So it's two spruce logs with two little two by two sections or two by three sections of oak upper oak planks as well i'm going to put on some birch buttons also and then i've just realized i should have one more section of spruce at the end there and i think i've missed out a button right now it's time for the beautiful uh, red terracotta I love this block, such a nice block. I'm using the Stevens Traditional Texture Pack and BSL shaders if you're interested, but it's very close to faithful Minecraft. So here we go. We're gonna be adding this all the way around. I've left a little space for a door, which is gonna uh, open onto the tower. So put that round. And then we're gonna go for our second layer of this, and we're gonna leave some space for some windows at the front and at the side. And we're gonna need a door there eventually, so hack that door out. There we go, that door is hacked out. So we're onto our second layer again, leaving some nice little spaces for windows and a door there as well. Onto the third row, third row pretty much just goes all the way around complete without any gaps. And then we're gonna come in by kind of one block. So don't do the corners, but add another row all the way around, but don't do the corners, like so. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then one on top with a gap. So let's see that in slow motion. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. 
one on top with a gap they're going to carve out a nice little window like that and <clears throat> we've got this other side to do as well this one won't have a window on it oh we're going to be doing this bit right here first of all so this is a little kind of a storage room or whatever you want really so add on two layers again leaving three little gaps for windows add on a third layer add on those blocks there bring those five across with one on top just like we did and then add that to another layer there and then two more blocks and uh, yeah let's swing the camera around nice and slowly so you should be hopefully able to see exactly what we've done from all different angles a little bit tricky can need a bit of practice you might need to just uh, alter some blocks that you got a little bit wrong but there we go not bad all right so now we're ready for the roof as you can see i've grabbed some stone brick walls spruce fences i think i just need one of them red terracotta don't actually need that anymore spruce planks stairs and slabs oak planks and slabs as well we're going to start with some oak planks in the corners like so and then we're going to start to build up our roof trim on the outside which is in this case is made of spruce so a couple of bits of spruce like that kind of facing along the builds like that not going to do one there because that's going to be uh, another roof over there later on so we're going to just do that one there and then beside those we're going to do spruce planks so add spruce planks onto all of these and then spruce stairs on top again all facing in the way like that and then upside down spruce planks either side of these there we go and then we're going to reach for some spruce slabs now the slabs are very simple we just build them up in a zigzag so we've got uh, lower slab lower slab upper slab lower lower upper and then upper lower like that simple simple so it's lower 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 upper 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 lower <laughs> does it matter <laughs> does it matter how i say it but it's just kind of a little slab zigzag there we go very cool i guess in here i usually do on the top windows i usually do some little spruce fences keep it really really simple indeed i think later on on this side we're probably going to be moving that one probably over to there but that's going to be for a staircase later on right now we're into oak oak slab territory and we're going to go oak planks here first of all so it gives you quite a big deep section there but that's okay um we're kind of happy with that now let me just double check um what did i just do oh yes so that one goes there and that one goes there fine it's more complicated on this side because we don't have any spruce to kind of border what we're doing so it's like that and then we want to go for oak slabs one two three four just like that so it's one two three four one two three four like that and one two three four looks okay then we want to have four more of these so it's three more of these slabs so they go like this that's a mistake two mistakes no one saw anything right one two three four that's what you want to see those four slabs kind of hanging just like that so let's try that again so it's one delete you two delete you three delete you one two three four same again over here one two three four like that there we go excellent job right um same over here obviously one two three four excellent um at this stage what i usually do is just start to build up some of these slabs here so i'm going to go one two like that 
there we go that starts that off like that I think probably just let me just double check this in my head this is sometimes a little bit confusing yeah we need to come along by three so it's three in all cases like that is this in the right stick no there we go that is even right there we go that's exactly what I wanted so we've got those three blocks there then we come up by one like that one full block that should be a full block right uh, once we've got to that full block there we just simply need to go like that like that like that like that and that brings us to the middle and then we can just add on that one there and with uh, a stone wall on top and a fence it really gives our roof a good amount of structure Now the rest of this just builds itself we want to go three blocks diagonal like that see one two three let's do the same on each section one two three same over here one two three one two three there we go awesome and then it's twos one two one two one two one two, one, two. and then simple uh, finish is going to be up here one two three four a nice stripy but strikingly beautiful roof i love it i absolutely love this okay so now we need to do this roof over here but what i am going to do is a little bit of this um tower so let me go one two three four five six hmm this tower needs to be 13 blocks high in total so let's start counting so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that tower is now 13 blocks high so let's just do this side of it and this is going to really help us um plan our roof i'm going to have a doorway there so a little bit of space for the doorway and then just bring our tower up it's going to be 13 blocks high in total we'll do the rest of that tower in a minute but let's just concentrate and get the roof done oh, you know getting this roof done oh my goodness great progress if we, if we manage it so two of those beautiful stone brick walls we love them great block and then a spruce plank like that and we should be able to link this along with some spruce stairs until we get to about here we can actually link it to this roof with an upside down one right there how cool is that I love that that's so nice we could do the same sort of thing around here actually so there's your upside down and that just links nicely onto there very cool okay let's finish off this bit here so we're going to go stair upside down now we're ready for our um spruce slabs boom 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 boom, boom. you want to do that until you get to the middle remember that is the middle right there and then we can start to come down again like so and that just covers everything up really beautifully and links into our tower really nicely um, we're going to need some oak stairs there we go one two three four that works out okay and then it's some oak slabs so whatever this is here if it's a stair you bring stairs across if it's a slab you bring slabs across so we just bring these slabs across and i think it looks good if the middle one is um spruce i'm going to go for full blocks there and then we can carry on on this side slabs actually these ones could be full blocks as well couldn't they, they might look a bit better from the inside you could do the same on the other side if you wish slabs and then these ones should be stairs and that is your roof actually complete if you want to be really pedantic about things you could start to neaten the stuff up in here if you want but it turns out to be quite good spots to put lamps in there so you might not want to do that you could also hide some chests in there on the inside here you might want to just neaten things up here a little touch by putting in full blocks here 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 like that and then you could also do something like one two one two three just make things look a little better isn't it one two one two three 
one, two, one, two, three. Fill those ones in. One, two, one, two, three. Like that. Just looks a little smidgen better on the inside there. A little bit cramped in here, but you're going to have two floors, so you gain an extra floor. Okay, that's a great stage to do. Well done if you managed that roof. Very complicated. Let's get the towers done. To finish off the tower, obviously we need some sides, so let's go like that. There we go. That's looking fine, actually. Uh, what about uh, a ladder? I'm going to block that bit off there. There's not really anywhere to go down there. And then bring a ladder up here so you can climb up if you wish you could put a bell up there and you could put a, a lantern up here as well i guess we'll do that a little bit later on so we've got these sides to do can we fill these up with some cool windows so we've got a little tiny kind of arrow slit window works really nicely in a tower i think to fill that one in um same over here let's go one block up to make it a little bit different and then two facing that way and then two facing that way and we've got these beautiful windows on the sides of your tower i love it i think it just looks a bit a bit italian a bit castly i really love it do you like my towers i like my towers upside down block there and we can slap in a little door here and you've whoops going up in the world and you have yourself an awesome tower the next tower needs to be 15 blocks high in size so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so i guess we can very very quickly build up our corners no thinking needed on the corners um obviously we're going to get rid of some of these blocks but not many wasn't too wasteful hopefully there we go i'm going to come round here with this block and this is going to allow us to put in some more of these spruce fences, but they're going to be too high in total for their bigger tower. Give it the same treatment on the roof. There we go. You could put flags on top if you want. You could put spiky bits. It is entirely up to you. Um, right. We need a door for sure. So there is our door actually i like to put doors on both sides so you can actually get out onto this balcony so we're going to need a bit of space here to be able to get out onto the balcony so there we go <laughs> that works doesn't it um do we need probably don't need that one right probably don't need that one there we go so what do we have on this side we can fill this up with windows i guess so we're going to need some more of these so let's put one window in there Let's put a block there and another section of these little arrow slit windows. So it's a stair and then an upside down stair, stair, upside down stair. And we'll just block that one off like that. So there we go. Beautiful towers. Slap our doors in. Oh, did I put this in the wrong place? I certainly did. That should be upside down stair there. Uh, the rest of this is going to need to get filled in. And we'll put a door there and a door there. Now the staircase needs to go. Hmm. There. But how do we get onto that staircase? That is going to be a bit tricky. First of all, I guess we'll just fill in the rest of that. So we've got a door into our house, but. How would we get onto that uh, ladder there? I don't think we can have this window here. Sorry, guys. We're going to change that and put a little staircase there. So you can jump and then jump and you can get up to the top of the tower. If you wish, you could put a bell or a lantern at the top, as I said earlier on. So there we go. There are two towers. We are very, very close to finishing off this build, actually. So to finish off the main parts of this build, before we do some furnishing and decorating, I've got um, some fences, campfires. If you don't want to use campfires, then spruce trapdoors are fine. I've got plenty of spruce trapdoors. I've got some construction blocks. Maybe scaffolding would be good as well, just to help me place blocks. A few lanterns and some stone slabs. Let's start with the stone. In fact, let's start with a door I missed out, because I meant to put a door here, right? There we go. Sorry. Uh, yes, stone slabs. So let's run these around like that all the way to there and then we're going to go boop 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 
boop, gives it a little fortified, crenellated appearance from the outside. Beautiful looking house. Right, I'm going to put my construction blocks here, temporary blocks here, just to help me place some spruce trapdoors. Now, what I'm doing with my trapdoors these days is something quite sneaky. I'm making them do, oops, this. So this happens. You get a wiggly line. Doesn't that look cool? We love the wiggly lines. There we go. I love it. I love it. So cool. Uh, obviously, that one's a bit of a mistake. So that one turns there. That's wrong. <laughs> Uh, that one's going to have to be, yeah, that one's going to have to be like that. And then we start our wiggly bits again. No, in fact, that one can be wiggly. There we go. That works. And turn around for that one. Turn around for that one. Oh, there. Awesome. We've got the wiggly bits we needed. And that goes there. And that goes there. That works out nicely. That corner, beautiful. That one would go like that. Um, that one would be like that. This one can be like that, which is handy because you come up the stairs without bumping into one. But this one's going to have to go there, there, there. And there we go. Beautiful wiggly line. Now, we want to do exactly the same round here. This is maybe why it's not good to put the buttons on. Maybe the buttons should have gone on later on, but yeah. So what I'm going to do is do this off camera. I'm going to put on my spruce trapdoors all the way around. There we go. I managed it. What do you think? I think it looks pretty smart. We need to put one more trapdoor there and birch buttons all the way around. We do have a chimney to put in. Mustn't forget the chimney. Here, I just kept them in line you don't have to, I guess, that door. Actually, that works out nicely. It kind of matches up with the door that's open. Haha, <laughs> love that. Cool. What else is to be done? I guess we do need to do a chimney at the back and then do some decorations. One thing I am going to do is put a little staircase in here to get up to this level. I'm going to move this window across to there and then put in a little spruce staircase, I guess... That's okay. Yeah, that seems to be fine. Like that. Um, you could put these on if you wanted as well. Maybe we'll just go up like that. And then that's a tricky one to place. Good luck with that. But there we go. We've got a little... Can we still get past here? We can still just about squeeze past. That's okay. But it gives you kind of a, a little external door and a way of getting up. If you don't like that, you could do an internal staircase in fact i'll probably show you a version with an internal staircase just a few minutes time great uh oh let's slap a door in here as well so we've got an external staircase we have probably just yeah there we go cool i'm happy with that two towers yep just a fireplace to go and then it's time to give you an example of decoration one thing I did nearly forget was this little bit over here where I think it's just great to create a little kind of a, a porch covering, a little place to get shelter from the rain. So I'm just going to add on um, two fence posts right there. And that's pretty much all you need apart from three fence posts just there. And then it's just a question of adding on some of these campfires. Now, these are quite expensive to build in survival so if you don't want to do campfires then you could just use spruce trapdoors and they would work just as well but i think these look so cool i love to use them let's extinguish these and if i just add in a few lanterns in key places Then we can hand this place over to the furnishers. Now, I did get some help from Blobman. So, big shout out to Blobman who's helped with the furnishing of this place. We can add one just there. Um, yeah, the place is looking awesome. Obviously, there's some really good little cool spots for lanterns back here as well. Pop one there. And what can we do right there? 
and right there it's just so so cool the one weak point in this whole build is this connected textures the stone bricks connecting right into the red terracotta so you might want to disguise this whole area somehow i don't know how you would do it maybe something like that maybe you would just add some actually just probably adding some bushes would probably be the thing to do but look out for that it's a, a top tip really uh, from me to you is to don't have two textures joining on like that something i like to avoid a big time but that there we go <laughs> problem solved problem evaded as Carras would say there we go cool so yeah a little door to put in just there apart from that let's get some detail on and i'll show you what we did so as you can see i started to put in some detail but of course i forgot the chimney on the other side so we do need to put a chimney on on this side i think it looks much much better on this side when you do have a chimney so chiseled stone bricks there and there and then bring these up and then put them through there and this is going to help to support the chimney from below i think that's kind of a, a cool thing to do let's change these blocks into solid stone bricks we're going to get rid of this here we're going to put our uh, fireplace is going to be in here so we'll come on to that in just a few minutes time but what i want to do is just build this up like that take away that lantern and then we're going to just turn those in and bring these up and through your roof just as high as you want i'm going to go i think one more block stick on the campfire and surround it with some spruce trap doors just like that there we go not bad huh a very very simple indeed fireplace now on the inside oh, you're getting a sneak preview of what i'm doing on the inside here um, i'm just going to do something very very simple take those ones out as well and there we go that could be our fireplace very very simple indeed probably could just turn that one to make it look like we've got a, a bit of a chimney going up there but i like to use the campfires these days so yeah sneak preview of the inside well this is going to be be me showing you the inside of this build let's put this back and i could take you outside and show you the upstairs as well there we are pretty cool huh what do you think not too shabby and then down here what else did i add in i added in some more kind of some vines or bushes growing up and the great thing about that is it reduces the number of campfires that you need to use so the number of campfires that you see here is the number that's going to be in the ingredients list uh, thanks to uki uh, one of the builders on the server he designed this unit as well which is just very simple to copy if i hold the camera there obviously put in a bit of a farm as well some more bushes on the outside please take note i've also put in some cracked stone bricks and actually quite a lot of actually i haven't put any mossy stone bricks in so yeah cracked stone bricks can go pretty much anywhere you like i think they look fantastic i think i've just destroyed a ladder never mind but also you want to put in some mossy stone bricks as well so the actual ingredients list will reflect the number of mossy bricks that I've used as well. Let's put in some more here. There we go. And then round here, that's fine. Yeah, pretty good. So I've put in some composters, some tables, some little pot plants, plenty more lanterns. What else have I done? Hmm. On the inside in the basement, pretty much uh, nothing done down here got some barrels and some smithing tables and then round here remember to add in some ladders so you can climb up can we climb up i was assured that this would work can we not climb up how do you climb up with a trap door hmm. can we just jump up there's a problem for you guys to solve <laughs> i'm sure you will have a solution you'll be better at ladders than me maybe we could do a, a, a be a staircase in there instead of a ladder would work as well okay so there we go that is the tutorial uh completely finished thank you so much indeed for watching and i'll see you next time ciao ciao in the blocks be with you